So, some fellow YouTubers uh, who are uh, into building scout trucks at the moment uh, requested that I uh, make a video on uh, how we built these uh, flat trucks. Uh, here's the one here. Uh, I call it the Delta powered dragster now, but back then it was the SST supersonic transport. And uh, front part here that's like the tractor on a trailer with the engine and then this was supposed to be actually the load that it's carrying so uh, people thought that was the fuel tanks but it wasn't it was the it's like the trailer with the load and then here we can see the other one here with the uh, the lead V8 engine in it there and the exhaust coming out the back there so I will uh, explain a little bit about uh, how these are made. Basically, for those of you that are only used to uh, Pinewood Derby or Cub cars, you buy this uh, boxed kit uh, from Scouts, and it's called an 18-wheeler there, and uh, comes with uh, the parts to make a uh, kind of a standard uh, tractor trailer. You see here, there's the, the wheels and axles in a bag there, uh, 18 wheels. It also comes with a block of wood here for the trailer axles and for the uh, cab. Now I uh, I believe that uh, the back piece here is from a, a cab, but uh, from the front piece I uh, I basically bought a piece of wood and had it uh, cut down to this size. I don't know, four feet long or something. Then because uh, we built uh, so many of these things. Anyway. Uh, just note here that uh, I have this pin in here so that the, the tractor and trailer are uh, removable from one another because that's part of the rules. That's just a nail there and and then the uh, trailer that's just a piece of uh, sheet metal that fits in there and then there's a slot slot in here looks like it's about uh, 3 sixteenths inch but uh, so you want the tractor removable from the trailer and uh, the same thing applies over here. Um, that's part of the rules and you have to abide by the rules. Uh, on the, the other, the third uh, truck, the Black Widow, it actually has a pin that goes in from the side. So that, that's a little more complicated, the old kind of tongue and groove thing going on there. But for these two we went uh, with the simpler way there. Now, <clears throat> so so this part here is the, the basis for it, but for these ones, if I show you an end view here, you'll see, you can see, uh, unfortunately I need a third hand here, but here's the block that you buy right here. It only goes up to about here, and it looks like I've got an uh, eighth inch uh, plywood uh, shim, and then this is, uh, it's, it looks like either a quarter or three sixteenths plywood for the outside skirts and for the top piece that comes across the top and uh, holds the skirts. And I'll flip it right over here. So you can see there the, the tires. And uh, as I say, this, this piece here is, is right there. It's probably flipped upside down because I cut my own axle slots in it. But uh, it's still the basis. And then there's just filler pieces in here, uh, the appropriate width. You have to allow enough width to uh, fit the tires in and uh, the overall width I've got I'm gonna set the camera down for a second so the overall width I've got is uh, about three and three sixteenths from outside to outside and I believe there is a maximum uh, width now you could use a narrower skirt if you wanted to or whatever but I can see this video is getting kind of long here so I'm gonna to have to maybe make another one but um, anyways I hope that that uh, helps out with uh, the basic construction over here so I'll uh, end this bid and then uh, make a second one